In today's show, we're going to talk about all the games that are coming out today. Let the floodgates open, baby! And st- there's not much gaming news today, so we're just going to go a bit over the new DLC for Deus Ex Mankind Divided. That's coming out next month, along with... It's nerd news. We're going to talk about Star Wars! Mash Mikey Gaming. G'day all you mad gamers, Mad Mikey back after one day absence. I had a throbbing headache yesterday, it felt like, I don't know if you know the 80s wrestler Crush, his finishing move used to be like this, and he just, ah, ah, ah. that's how my head felt, like the temples, and I couldn't even open my eyes, so I apologize, getting to know Mad Mikey wasn't around, but we're back today, we're going to do a double edition, so let's get into it, uh, let's go, and me a thumbs up because i know you got one i just want one and if you like the gaming show and you think that you might have other people don't forget to tell your mother tell your father there's a moth up there that's the size of a freaking bird tell your sister tell your brother tell your cousins tell your friends because they might like games so in today's show as a detail there's not much gaming news today uh but there is some nonetheless, but we'll also talk about some other awesome news. Today, Deus Ex, February 23, a criminal past. So the, the next bit of the DLC, uh, which is free and part of the season pass, but 12 US dollars, which would generally translate to around about 20 Australian dollars, is coming out. It's taking place before the actual game. So it's a, it's a prequel of sorts. So it's going to be interesting to see if you're going to lose all your powers... Uh, obviously, one of the spoilers of the game is that you find that you've got all these hidden powers on the inside and you can now access them. So this is going to be before the game, so you might not have them all. I myself, uh, I'm a huge Deus Ex fan, but I'm just over DLC at this point. Season passes, they're a waste of money. Are you guys over them? I really think they need to evolve, as I've talked about a couple of times. I just think that they need to go back to the idea that expansion packs are the proper way of going things. It's what the fans want. It's what the fans deserve. And in terms of all the games that are coming out, it's just like the floodgates have opened today. I'm only buying one, and that is one of my top five anticipated games of 2017. moth really isn't moving and it is resident evil 7 biohazard that one's coming out today i've picked up the collector's edition after this i'm going to do an unboxing so guys i hope that you stick around and you watch that because you might be a bit interested in it if you haven't got it but it actually looks pretty cool from what they've actually shown me because i actually had to open it uh just to double check that everything was inside which are don't know if it is or I don't know if it isn't. So let's kind of hope it all is. And also Kingdom Hearts 2.8 HD, the final prologue, is out today. So this is hopefully the last one before 3 comes out because they've gone Kingdom Hearts 2, Kingdom Hearts 2.5, Kingdom Hearts 2.8. It, it's kind of like when you got in trouble when you were a kid, they'd count down. So 5, 4... Three, two and a half, and <laughs> you just keep going, uh, knowing that you were going to get in trouble. Well, I don't know. That happened to me a lot, I think. But that one's coming out. It's coming on the PlayStation 4. So this one's actually going to be all in your high definition and things like that. So it's moved away from the PlayStation 3 onto the PlayStation 4. So PlayStation 4 holders are going to have a great day today. Because also, you, you can't... How did they say it? I was watching the video review for this game the other day and I had a bit of a rant. Yakuza. Yakuza. The Australians did a review on it and they said Yakuza 0. It's not Yakuza. It's Yakuza. Yakuza. Everywhere around the world. That's how they're going to say it. Yakuza 0 is out today. So this is obviously the very big first prequel coming out just before number 6. So it's a big year for Yakuza this year. I'm probably not going to pick up these two games because I've got them committed to other retro games that I've got coming out. And 
they're not really on my top list. Like Yakuza, I've just started playing three again on the PlayStation 3 because I've only played about 10 minutes of Yakuza 4 and I haven't even touched Yakuza 5, which was a digital only title. And in terms of Kingdom Hearts, I've got I've got the 2 HD or whatever it was, the 2.2 or whatever. I haven't played that one. It is on my list of things to play, but... As you know, I've got a lot of shit that I don't play. As I said, there wasn't much gaming news, so let's talk about the awesome news that was Star Wars Episode Eight got its title today and is called The Last Jedi. Now, that could mean a lot of things, because Jedi can mean singular, it can mean plural. Uh, is it the end of Luke? Because they did sort of say the next episode in the Luke in the Skywalker star saga. Saga? Saga. Saga is is going to be called the Last Jedi. So this is actually really cool. Does this mean that Luke is going to be the Last Jedi? Does it mean that Rey is going to be the Last Jedi, or does it mean that there's going to be a big band of Jedi finally forming to take down the dark side of the Force again? Mark Hamill actually was only informed of the title as well today. They did an interview with him over somewhere I can't remember. And he was actually quoted saying that he thought it was a really cool idea. He loved that it, I quote, has a samurai vibe. And that it is straight to the point and very minimalist. But he seemed really pumped about it. I watched the interview. He, I think he's as big a fan. He was sort of joking around that, oh, the titles didn't used to be such a such an issue back in the day because no one cared about what the names were. Like to me, like back in the day, Star Wars was just Star Wars. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. You know all those beautiful things. Uh, and hang around for the unboxing of Resident Evil Seven, guys. I hope you've had a great day. I will see you on Thursday. Bye, guys.